watching Cosmos while we're eating dinner? Am I awake because this feels like a dream? Oh, not for me. In my dreams, I'm usually running for my life from a giant praying mantis. That's the insect where the female eats the male after mating? It is. I think I understand why you're not married. Might the beings of other worlds resemble us? Or would they be astonishingly different? Do you believe there's intelligent life in the universe? I have no doubt. Why is that? The Drake Equation claims that there are at least 20 detectable civilizations in our Milky Way galaxy alone. Interesting. My sister likes to say that I'm an alien. I've often been called that. Once by the praying mantis in my dream. Maybe we are aliens. Perhaps. Or maybe people like you and me were the original inhabitants of Earth and everyone else is from outer space. Ooh, I like that better. In the great dark between the stars, there also are... Orphans. After dinner, want to toast marshmallows on a Bunsen burner? Good gosh, yes. Finally, we strike the flint while turning up the gas of the Bunsen burner. I don't say this often, but that may have been the perfect safety lecture. Thank you. You're my guest after you. This is like being around a campfire, only I'm not miserable. Would you like me to sing a cowboy song while we sit around our makeshift campfire? I would like that. Oh, pity the cowboy, all bloody and red, for the bronco fell on him and bashed in his head. There was blood on the saddle and blood all around and a great big puddle of blood on the ground. If you like being tucked in, I'm prepared to do it. I practiced on a watermelon. That's okay. I'm a self-tucker. Very well. Now, I'll be in my room if you need me. Here's a glass of water if you get thirsty. And there's fresh chalk on the blackboard in case of any late-night epiphanies. Excellent. Oh, and uh, if your Mima asks how I did tonight, I hope you'll give me a positive review. Three stars. Out of three? Yes. Wonderful. Dr. Sturgis? Oh, Sheldon, so nice to see you. I think you tripped and hit your head. I'm a bit woozy. I better test for concussion. What's your name? John Burgess Sturgis. Burgess Sturgis, great name. Thank you. Who's the president of the United States? George Herbert Walker Bush. I like Burgess Sturgis better. Because it rhymes, sure. Last question. What is the only fermion that may not have an antiparticle? The neutrino, of course. I'm going to rule out concussion. To be fair, it was an easy question. True. Wait here. I'm going to go get some ice for your head, and I'll fix you a hot beverage. Oh, there's a there's an Earl Grey tea bag in the sink. I think it still has some... Oh, oh dear. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Dr. Sturgis, your tea is on fire! Boy, it's a good thing we did this trial run. No kidding. Ooh, it's chilly out. Are you thinking letting me take care of a child? I won't make that mistake again. Do I look like Mary Poppins? As smart as I am, I tried to put out a fire with oxygen and paper. It's okay. No one got hurt. I may actually have had a concussion. What are your symptoms? It feels like there's hair on my head. 